types of changes. We come across various types of changes in our daily life. Some are temporary, physical and some permanent, chemical. For example, ice changes to water, physical change. Milk is set into curd, chemical change. Ripening of fruit, chemical change. Steam is condensed, physical change. Our respiration, chemical change. Physical changes. A physical change is a type of change in which the form of matter is altered but one substance is not transformed into another. For example, ice changes to water, water into vapors, vapors are condensed back to water and then ice. In this whole process, the form of matter, that is water, keeps changing from solid to liquid and to gas. But the chemical constituent remains H2O for all of them. Let us do one experiment and find out if it is a physical change. Gently heat camphor in a china dish. Keep an inverted funnel plugged with cotton over the dish before we start heating. We see vapors of camphor rising up. This is sublimation, that is, solid changing directly into vapor state. Remove the burner and let the funnel cool down. We observe small white crystals of camphor deposited on the inside of the stem of funnel. This is a physical change as the form of matter. That is, solid state of camphor is altered to its vapor state and then back to solid but its chemical composition remains the same. Chemical changes A chemical change is a chemical reaction which is accompanied by change in the nature, appearance and identity of the reactants and sometimes evolution of gas. For example, fermentation, photosynthesis, digestion of food. Let us do one experiment and find out if it is a chemical change. Take 5 milliliters solution of potassium chromate and add few drops of barium sulfate solution yellow color of the solution gradually fades away with the formation of yellow colored precipitate. This is a chemical change as this is accompanied by change in appearance of the reactants forming new substances. Bright yellow solution of potassium chromate reacts with barium sulfate to give yellow precipitate of barium chromate and solution of potassium sulfate. Every chemical change results in a chemical reaction which is represented by a chemical equation. The substances that undergo change 
are called reactants and substances formed at the end are the products of the reaction.